to my news video uh, so in this video um will uh, show you how to uh, install the 40 um, client ems on the windows server so uh, i want to remind you that uh, to keep in mind uh, the 40 client ems uh, can only call, can install only with windows servers okay please note that the 40 client name as can only install on the Windows server. Okay. Yes, the 40 client is the provider infrastructure is to manage uh, install or manage endpoint uh, how to protect the endpoint like uh, put a, a ransomware attack, uh, anti spread protection in the real time and have another a lot of stuff the 40, 40 client okay up that after installation completely successfully you can uh, log in to the 40 client you can you have two methods to log in you can open the uh, application on uh, you can see the custom pad on the desktop uh, you can open the browser to and tap the uh, IP address of the windows server that you install the 40 client EMS so the first time you we need is to enter the password by default is no password after you enter the username admin it will ask you to enter the new password for the first time login okay you can also uh, type the with the xudian but we make sure you have the uh, config the uh, dns for the local for the mapping the uh, dns name to uh, one ip address right but in this case we cannot uh, log in by the uh, FGDN because we have the same uh, bad request uh, 400 uh, uh, on the client side because we not yet to configure or some uh, configuration on the system setting uh, in the 40 image client so um, the first time you uh, log into the 40 and client it will ask you for the SSR certificate and activate the license to enable the feature like the ZTNS uh, network zero uh, zero tech network access and endpoint profile uh, to uh, use the endpoint profile. Okay, and here uh, when we want to upload, uh, want to the upload the license or uh, but you can play with the free drill license. You can. Okay, you can read the free tier license or you have the license already, you can upload it directly. If you want to uh, get the free tier license, you can log in register with uh, the 40 care, uh, 40 cloud, but to make sure you are the partners with the 40 net, right? So, here yeah, I'm going to the for uh, EMS setting you to, to confirm or uh, to check configure a little bit option to uh, make sure you can use with the FGDN, right? So listen on the IP address, the, the IP address that I, on the Windows server and just click on the use FGDN. So now we can uh, put the your FGDN. So for example, right here and and this lab, uh, I'm use the uh, EMS and type the EMS dot lab dot local, right? Okay, and after that you can check the uh, verify confirm, uh, confirm again and again to make sure uh, you are confirmed it correctly. Uh, yes, you, you, we will talk about more on this setting and uh, to the uh, next video. Uh, and, uh, so uh, after you verify the so go so far, you can click the cell and click yes. So everything is fine. So now. I can use the XUDN, right? But it's not yet to trust yet because the browser is not yet to trust uh, this but, uh, this default uh, certificate of the 40 uh, client EMS. So in the next video, I will going to uh, show you uh, how to upload the certificate and uh, uh, install the trust on the browser. But uh, if you uh, 
they want to need the detail how to config on how to create the session certificate please uh, comment on below this in this video i will uh, show you the first part then uh, this part of uh config the session certificate to allow the browser to trust uh, on the web web server so please stay tuned goodbye guys